I mean, it hurt, but I, we understand, we supposed to be one. We understand that we made bad decisions towards the end of the game. Coach Webb did a lot of good coaching, and we just made a lot of bad decisions at the end of the game. For the players who have been here before for championships, what was that like playing in front of an empty arena? And what was the it, it was like the same because it was just it was like practice, but we know it's a real game. We play hard in practice, and not in front of nobody. So it wasn't nothing different for us. For you, coach, what was today like? Uh, uh, it, was, it was, it was, you know, a basketball game. We needed to win. That, that's that's the mindset. And you know, whether it's people in the bleachers or not, you know, the other team has on their jerseys and we have on ours, and they you go at it. And you know, they came out on top. Hey, uh, Jalen, a uh, quick question for you. Um, the fact that it was a different environment did it kind of throw you off just a tad bit this afternoon? No, sir. We just, mm -hmm. we just, we just ain't played good basketball as, as at the end, and we got in too much foul trouble, so they kind of threw it off. As a player, seeing the uh, the fouls you guys had down the stretch and other miscues, how frustrating was it seeing that from your point of view? Very frustrating, especially when they in the. When we stuck the star in five, it, it kind of made us very frustrating. And we had to come back out and play hard through them five and make up all the mistakes we did in the first half. So. Cash, y'all were down 24 to 10 at the end of the first quarter. All of a sudden, I mean, y'all, second, third quarter, you almost doubled them up. What did y'all change after the first quarter to be able to get back in the game and take the lead? Mm -hmm. We changed the way we were holding deep on them. Like we started pressing them and like making them like count to the ball real hard. We start helping a lot more too though. We we when we got down a lot, we was letting them get in the lane too much. We practiced that all week. I ain't, we want I want to understand why that was going on, and I know Coach West want to understand neither. But we made we talked about it, and made a good adjustment, get fall back in the game. One thing they know, Ray wasn't gonna lay down. Was Holloway the toughest, one of the toughest players y'all faced all year long? He, he, he a great, he a great basketball player, but I wouldn't. Um, we faced a lot of good players from our area. He, he a great player. He, he and he and he won, he in the top five. But, you know, he just he just killed us early because we weren't doing our job the way we supposed to be. Did. How frustrating was it for you guys the free throw line there in the overtime? It just seemed like. Y'all needed free throws and just couldn't do it. At the time, it wasn't first because I was still in the basketball game. I know we needed to make them, but I was thinking, like, it's over with. We still got a lot more basketball to play. But once you think about it, towards the end of the game, it's kind of first grade. Coach, when you, when you on film that you feel like you could have attacked them and all their weaknesses and what some of the strengths you saw on film that you were like, that's something we need to kind of put a point of emphasis going into the game. Well, we knew, you know, we knew Colin was was uh, the best player, but we also knew uh, thirteen. He was, you know, Tawaski was one of the best ball handlers. So we, one thing we want to do is keep him out of the lane and not let uh, Colin get the easy baskets on the block. And you know, we we made the adjustment, but uh, they had a kid that really stepped up, uh, Elliot. Elliot made some plays that we hadn't seen him make on any film. He made some big shots, and uh, that helped him get out ahead early. But we even made an adjustment on him. We just, you know, down the stretch, we just didn't think and, and do the things that we need to do to win. Any more questions? Thank you, Coach. Thank you, players. I you thought about the game, Coach. Oh, I thought it was, I thought it was a whole lot of fun. Uh, I mean, hats off to Rayville. And the, to, to lose the talent that they lost and to come back this year and to be as competitive as they've been and to beat the people that they've beaten the way they've beaten them. And, uh, you know, I honestly thought we were going to beat them by 20 points. I really did. Uh, but that, that that's a champion is a champion. And they competed their butts off. They, they never gave up. We jumped out on them 13 to nothing, and they just kept playing. They kept doing what they do. They kept doing what they do. 
I probably gave him a little bit of motivation. I wanted it though. I, we wanted it hard. We didn't. We wanted to earn this. I mean, I don't know if y'all social media. I've been going back and forth with their fans. It's been fun banter back and forth. But this was this is what high school basketball is all about. This is what basketball is all about. You know, competing at the highest level, uh, laying it on the line, trusting your teammates, trusting your coach. Uh, Oh, that was that was a lot of fun. I'm I'm a huge fan of this game. I'm a huge fan of competing, and it, it it was just a lot of fun. And my guys, oh man, I love them to death. I do. I'm really really hard on. I'm really really hard on my own sons because it's a hard world. And to to have them respond, I've been on this dude all day since this morning. Since our first time I saw him, I'm on him. We need you, on him. And he came out. He responded. He had some adversity, he responded, but I know what's in him. I know what's in Tawaski Johnson. I know what beats in his chest. Jalen Knox, to step up the way he did today. And then Colin, I mean, I can't talk enough about how hard this dude works and what he's brought to, to, to our, our school, what he's brought to our team. And to, to see the way he, our team embraced him and loved him, because not because he was a great basketball player, because he's a good dude. And uh, it's, it's been it's been a whole lot of fun. This year's been a lot of fun. It flew by, you know. When you're having fun, it goes a little bit faster. Uh, you know, I, I hate that our fans couldn't be here, but I understand. You know, we have to do. We have to, You always got to look out for the greater good, and that's what that was the decision that was made. I wish our people could have been here. Uh, we got the best fans in the state of Louisiana. Uh, I wish Rayville's fans could have been there because they got some really good fans too. And. Uh, Coach and I already talked about trying to play home and home next year. You know, I mean, we know we're gonna see each other in the playoffs most likely most years, and uh, just keeping it going and, and keep building uh, 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 West Baton Rouge basketball, Port Allen basketball, Irwinville basketball, and, and just keep building something special. Because uh, not only do we stress, uh, you know, being the best basketball player would you be, we, we, we're trying to raise gentlemen. We're trying to raise good men that are going to come back, come go out in the community one day and, and be game changers in their own community. And these guys, our team GPA is a 2.85. They, they, our school's a B school. Like, every, we're, we're, we're working really hard, not just as, at, at sports at Port Allen. All of our sports are getting better. You know, football, we got a chance to be really good next year. Baseball's coming. Softball, volleyball. We want to be. We want to compete at everything we do, and we talk to them about that because one day <coughs> they're gonna go out. They're gonna get a job like you guys have jobs, and you gotta compete. You gotta compete to, to to be at the top of your profession, and that's that's the the kind of men we're trying to raise. I mean, we won a basketball game day, and we did something that's never been done, but it's way bigger than basketball for us. Uh, this is for Coach and all you guys of history. Just kind of talk about the journey from last year, losing uh, to these guys uh, the way that you guys did to now being able to beat these guys to capture the first uh, title in school. Oh, man, last year, I mean, Mr. Bonine got on me when I saw him about not taking the picture. You know, I was so mad last year, I didn't even realize they took a picture. You know, I was replaying the game in my head, and there were a couple uh, possessions down the stretch and kind of crunch time where we didn't execute or we did execute, we just didn't finish the possession. And then I, I had made a boneheaded call, miscounted, and, and got a technical foul for too many guys on the court. And I, I was just beating myself up. I, I, I literally beat myself up for a few months about that game. And <clears throat> we started talking about this game probably the next day. Was it the next day, the same day? We started talking about this game right here. How do we win this game next year? And we started, not only did we talk about it, I, you know, everybody thinks I'm the trash talking coach. Nah, we talked about it, but we worked, worked for it. And these, to these guys' credit, they allowed me to coach them really, really, really hard. They want me to coach them really hard because they want to be really good. And they all have the potential to be. So, I mean, I, I, bro, I love y'all dudes, man. I, I can't say enough about what y'all mean to me. All of y'all are like my, my, I look at y'all like my sons. I coach y'all like I coach y'all. So y'all know how hard I am on my sons because I, I know what's out there. I know what's ahead of you and I know what's in you. And if, and if, if y you guys continue to, to do the things that you've been doing and prove yourself the way you proved yourself this year, y'all going to be great men one day. Y'all going to be great daddies. Y'all going to be great husbands. Y'all going to be great business owners, whatever you choose to do. Basketball, I hope y'all all play forever, but one day you're going to have to do something else. 
call it another 30 and 10 game for you, man. Uh, in the first half, you dominated them. They looked like they kind of switched up some things in that uh, second quarter and third quarter. What was kind of talk about that? You coming out the way you did and then having to adjust to what they were doing to you uh, defensively. I mean, coming out, I, we, we knew what we had to do. I mean, like I said Tuesday, I was blessed with a great coach, coaching staff, great teammates that believe in me and the work that I put in. And they just got me the ball and found me the ball and just made open shots. Coach, you over up 16 points in the second quarter by the time they've got the lead. What, what did they do to change the game? Man, we, we stopped defending. I mean, <clears throat> we, we've hung our head on defense since I've gotten here. And, 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 <coughs> We made some adjustments. We have to. Really good teams make you make adjustments. You have to adjust the play. They made adjustments. They didn't press us like they press everybody else. They can't. We got a bunch of guys who can handle the ball and make decisions and make make good passes. And the adjustment we made was to kind of back off our pressure. And, and, and sometimes when you back off pressure, your guys tend to be a little bit lazy. They tend to rest a little bit. And that's what happened. And we started giving up layups. We, don't, we didn't give up to teams that and not, no knock against Rayville that we've beaten that are better than them. And uh, that's what happens in these moments, though. Like, pressure, the pressure at the moment is big. You know, it's a lot at stake. And, uh, you know, I think we kind of, you know, we didn't crack, though. We talk about pressure all the time. We talk about pressure making diamonds. We didn't crack. I knew we weren't going to crack because you might see me yelling at my player, but I do it every day. Sometimes my player yell back at me. I'm all right with that. As long as the, the respect is there, the respect is always going to be there. And, and some of it is, you know, we were kind of raised that way. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's, it's, it, we come up in a different culture, and, but the respect is always there. And, and the love is there. And, and, and uh, you know, I, my coaches were really hard on me growing up. They saw something in me, and they, they wanted to pull it out of me. And sometimes they did stuff I didn't even tell my mom. Somebody says some stuff to me, and I think the culture of today is, well, you can't coach them like that, you, you know, because you got video cameras, you got social media. Yeah, you can, but they, you better, they better know you care about them. They better know you love them. If, if they know that, they'll let you coach them hard. And, and, and also, you got to gotta be some give and take. Like sometimes you bark, you, you go at a dog, that dog going to bark back. He might bite you every once in a while, but you got you to gotta understand that. And, and that's the relationship we all have. Bob Huggins. <laughs> Coaches at Cincinnati, well, I don't even know where he coaches at now. Uh, West Virginia, he was at Cincinnati back in the day. I remember reading an article where he had a rule. It, it, you could cuss him out, but it had to be in an office, closed door, just you and him. He allowed his players to cuss him out so because he knew he coached them really hard. And there, there has to be some of that. Like, you know, I, I, I'm not when I was an assistant coach, you weren't just going to talk to me however you wanted to talk to me. You know, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a prideful grown man, and I'm going to defend myself. And, and as a head coach, I, I, there's some give and take in there. And the uh, best coach I ever worked for real quick is Mike White at Florida. And Mike White is so good because he can recognize, you know, where people are great at and put them in position and let them go be great. And, and that, that, that creates ownership. Man, this, I stopped coaching these dudes about two weeks ago. I, I motivated them. I pushed them. I stopped coaching them. Who started running practice? They ran practice. Highly effective teaching, where the students take ownership. They start. They start running the classroom. This dude's gonna be a big time coach one day if he chooses to be. He can be a big time a lot of stuff. So can he, and so can he. They gonna both. All three of them are gonna play college basketball. All three of them are gonna get their grades and be eligible to play, and they're gonna play at a high level. So I'm excited about their future. I want them to talk. I've talked enough. It ain't about me. But I did want to make a couple points, and I, I really, really wanted to shine a positive light on Port Allen, the city, and Port Allen, our high school, that's doing great things. And I'm so proud to be back home and being able to, to be a part of this and being able to, to just to, to be the coach at Port Allen High School. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so blessed to be here. I'm so proud to be here. And uh, y'all my dudes, I'm out. Y'all got it. <laughs> Jalen, uh, Kowalski hit some bad, some big shots in the fourth quarter. I think he tied it up. But then, unfortunately, he fouled out. Looked like you stepped up in overtime, six to eight points and big free throws down the stretch. You were in this spot playing in a championship game as a freshman. Now you're a sophomore, man. Just talk about that. And uh, did you use that experience at the line uh, hitting those clutch free throws? Uh, first of all, like, going into it, it was close. It was a close game. And 
they was either tied up or had to leave. And I could like see the look in some of my teammates' faces, and it was like they thought it was kind of over. <laughs> so like, you I gotta. I knew that I had to be that guy to stay stable, like that table, or that rock for my teammates. So we could advance and keep pushing because through adversity, that's all we've been doing all year. We practice, coach, push us through adversity. I mean, playing against the scout team, yeah, have us down by like 20 with a minute left to go. <laughs> but I just knew to keep my head straight and keep being aggressive and keep playing because it was my last game of the year. So why not leave it all on the floor? Colin, <clears throat> just talk about you at Port Anna when you left uh, from Cali coming over there and just how, you, how, they, how they embraced you this season, bro. And knowing that you're the focal point most nights, but when you got people like Tawaski, Jalen, and Jaron that stepped up big, especially tonight, how, how big has that been for you all season and tonight? Man, it, it, it's been great. The coach over there is it's amazing. It's different. I love it. Having great teammates like this, to where you, I've, I've had nights where I've had like six, seven points, and they just they they, they got my back. They they take over the game. Uh, this dude right here had 18 yesterday. I didn't even know that. That's that's huge numbers. Tawaski and Jai didn't have a great game. The uh, offensive game, uh, the semifinals, but they sat down, played defense. They guarded their guards real real good. It's just great to have a team like that. I got my back, and I know they got my back. Uh, TJ, you uh, you fouled out, you know, I think, in that fourth quarter. How difficult was it for you just kind of watching overtime? That had to be uh, pretty stressful. Yeah, it was kind of stressful, I don't know, but um, I knew they was going to put it off. I'm on the sideline telling my assistant coach, Coach Raven, like, I know these boys about to win this and not about to give up. All the work we've been through, we got a great coaching staff, great fans. We don't need no fans, but... They still love it. They room for us. Like, I knew we wasn't going to lose. I knew it was going to win. I was telling that to every teammate on the bench. I was telling them, hold on, man, we was going to win this. We was not about to lose. That's deep water. Being that. This game was kind of a, a snapshot of the depth that you guys have. Obviously, you three guys produced. Hit two threes and a, a floater. Had eight points in the game. Just talk about their uh, contributions. EJ, uh, he's really tough. Like, as a freshman just coming in, hitting clutch threes, Playing defense, just like take care of the ball. That's that's great for a freshman. Like, dude, go be animal the next few years, probably next year. Kid, they always been that dog on defense. Like, if we needed him to guard anybody's best player, we always go to Kente. <laughs> and before that, it was Marcus, who's not with us right now. But he we love still. Marcus and Kente. Yeah, he was that next guy up to play solid, solid defense whenever. No points or points. <laughs> How weird was this game weirder at all for you guys playing with no fans or anything like that? How did that feel? What was the mindset for you guys going to take like this? Uh, the, one of the most important games you guys ever played, but uh, none of the rowdy fans that you guys have to be there to cheer on. Uh, we played a lot of tournaments at the beginning of the year, and we would travel, and it'd only be a select few of fans. We went to Dallas, and we had like eight people there in a big arena. It was, it was. I mean, yeah, it felt weird. State championship game, empty gym, but it was, it was nothing new. We. It's for the love of the game. We're just playing. It felt, it felt like they was there, though. Yeah. It just we felt we felt like they was there. You see us turning around, like hyping up, knowing they not there, but now hardly there. And you know, coach, the coaches just kept us pumped up. I mean, like TJ said, it just felt like they was there in spirit. So we just kept playing like, really intense. Colin, y'all had to win this game at the free throw line. What was y'all's mindset there in the last minute, having to go to the free throw line? We we, we do a lot of uh, free throw running at practice. You know, Miss free throws, you gotta run. Lately, we been, like before we got here, we did a lot of free throws. We knew what we had to do. We knew we knocked down made free throws. We win the game. That was a huge rebound he got at the end of the game to shoot free throws to allow me to get the rebound. So we we just stepped up to the line and did what we had to do. What is this? I was gonna say, what does this mean to y'all? You know, bringing the championship back to Port Allen like the first one I mean, ever. It means a lot. I mean, what? 20, 20 years or something like that? Never yeah, won. Yeah. Oh, we never won. The first one. That mean, history. That mean what you think I kept saying history? <laughs> that mean a lot, bro. Like, just bringing it to the, like, to Port Allen. Like, y'all you know how, like, Port Allen was. I come from my blues. It's like, that's like, my blues in Port Allen. That's, just, that's, I love it. Yeah, the same. I love it. I love them. Great people. I love them.
they need <coughs> hard fans. Really. Yeah, they two actually lived together. His daddy had custody of him. Oh, for real? Yeah. Yeah, this crazy. Is the first time in history. <laughs> we, we, we were supposed to do it last year, but the first time in history. You feel good, though. So what y'all think that uh that welcome gonna be like from those fans? I know they're waiting for y'all. What y'all think that's gonna be like when y'all get back? Great energy. That's crazy. Oh, you know you're gonna be waiting at the school. I'm waiting for it right now. Sure, we got we got a break to April 19th. Though we about to party for about a month. Oh yeah, that's true. That's one thing. It's all love from the city. We we love it. Fans love it. It's just a lot of love. We wanted to bring it back. We wanted. I knew, regardless of who you guys played, uh, it would have been special. But did it make it that much more special to beat those guys today? You know, um, anybody. <laughs> yeah, for anybody. We, we won an opponent. Anybody. State championship. That's what we're looking at. Any more questions? Thank you, Coach. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Stay champ. Please, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even know you back there.